Coach, are you happy with it where install is at at this point in the week? Yeah, yeah, extremely, extremely happy with it. The guys have uh, jumped on the playbook and they're understanding. And, uh, you know, we just try to give them tough looks. You know, it's easy to, you know, get the walkthrough stuff and knowing exactly what you got to do, but put them in a conflict and see how they handle that. We're doing a pretty decent job. It looked like they had a pretty good handle on the win today. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it in the team meeting this morning. I mean, these are uh, the elements that, that we, we live in, you know, so, you know, we got to look at it. Uh, in a positive note that we got experience out here. So if we ever do have to play in something like this, we, we kind of know what to expect, but uh, that'll be us. You know, whatever the elements are, we'll, we'll make sure we're outside. Obviously, the Elks have a good running game that you're, I'm assuming, anticipating. How do you stop it? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Brown is a heck of a back, and, you know, they brought in uh, Javon Leak, who's dynamic when he's got the ball in his hands. Uh, it's just about being gap sound and really, we call it STB, it means sprint to ball. Uh, 12 hats, one ball, tackle by population. How do you like uh, C.J. Rivas now that you've had some time to coach him? Yeah, I love it. I mean, obviously just uh, his personality is exactly what you want. And then just uh, you could tell he's a guy who loves the game. Um, and he's always going to do the extra stuff to really get a hand up in, in what he's doing and understanding what we're trying to get done. And, uh, you know, we've been uh, really happy with what he's been able to put on the field to this point. Uh, there's playmakers all around the entire group, you know, even, uh, you know, you go down and look at the guys on the PR, you know, uh, Joe Rowe, Robustelli, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, he's got a bright future. All the guys across the board, even the guys that are banged up, um, you know, they're, they're, they're really good receivers. So we knew that coming in, um, and it was a tough decision, to, you know, to pick the ones that we did, but uh, we're happy with, uh, with the group that we got. No, uh, he's just a dog, you know. That's a, he's one of my my favorites. Uh, he just comes to work every day. He doesn't have to say too much. Uh, he don't care who he, if he's got to block somebody who's six five. He don't care. He's gonna do anything he has to do to to help this team win. Um, and those are you know as many of those type of players you can have in the, in a locker room. You're you're in good shape. Corey, what would you like to see from Keyshawn Johnson? Yeah, I think just being a dynamic playmaker that he is. You know, he's come from a storied background and you know in college and. Uh, you know, now, you know, he switches number, you know what I mean? So hey, I told him, hey, hey, you got single digits now. You got to <laughs> you got to make sure you earn it. So uh, just know, understand the playbook for him and, you know, just uh, again, getting comfortable with the game up here. But uh, nothing, you know, lights come on for him. He, he's a he's a baller. So we're we're not too worried about it. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Bro.